How's it going everyone and welcome to a brand new engram opening. Now this is going to be, I know I made one yesterday but this is going to be different. This is going to be opening 10 exotic engrams and let me tell you guys this took me a while to do. You can see a lot of these engrams are 265 because I got them a fair while ago and then I just went on a dry streak of just nothing. So we got some 268 and I think it goes up to 270. Yeah 270 so it goes up to 265, 2270. But I've always wanted to collect 10 exotic engrams and hand them all in just to see what we get. I've hardly had any any exotics let me tell you a brief history so before these 10 exotics i received two exotic engrams which i handed in and one engram was the dune marches which is obviously in destiny one so it's not too exciting and the second one i got was the graviton lance which i already got from doing the campaign so so far in terms of exotic engrams i'm quite disappointed and yes it's been pretty painful seeing my friends get all these new exotics and i've well i'm doing it to myself i'm basically just purposely holding on to them just for a video like this and it definitely does affect how much i've been leveling up in power recently but who cares makes for a fun video doesn't it guys right guys right no? Okay. And if you're wondering where I am, by the way, I'm behind Tyra Khan, and it's pretty much this little box you jump into. I don't know why it's not been patched yet, but it's not that much of a groundbreaking glitch. It's just a little room behind her, and <laughs> it's been here since the beta, so um, I don't think it's going to get patched anytime soon. If it does, then I'll be very upset because this room is very special. Can I get through here? Yes, I can. So literally, just jump through that little red thing to the left, and you should be straight in. Tyra Khan, you're going to give me some brand new exotics today that I've never seen before. I don't really care about light power as much. I just want to hand these in and get some new weapons, new items that I have not even seen yet although specifically there is one weapon i've seen that i do want and it is the vigilance wing i have no idea if you guys have not seen this but here it is on the screen if you haven't this is literally from the person i um saw this from originally so it's not my picture it's just someone i spectated and took a picture of and look at that thing doesn't that look incredible and all i've heard to get that thing is just luck through engram so hopefully we'll get one today so we're going to start with the 265 ones to begin with i think we've got three yeah three 265 so let's go with the 265 ones to begin with start off with we get an exotic chest what do we have we have the actium war rig and if you guys can tell i already have that that was the chest arm i picked when doing the campaign i really hope this doesn't follow suit in terms of bad luck i i really hope so guys it took me a while to collect and if you're wondering how i got these i pretty much 90 percent of the time i did public events second 265 what do we have for me we have a risk runner okay so we're getting some weapons just remember it's not a kinetic weapon i'm stupid okay it's a energy weapon of course it's a submachine gun okay i can safely say i do not have the risk runner so that's decent i'm getting at least some weapons that i do not have before submachine guns are really interesting because crucible they seem to dominate especially the mini tool close range that is not <laughs> not anywhere to do with range last 265 engram we have the feedback fence okay so once again a gauntlet from destiny one but i have heard these are quite fun to use so i'm happy next exotic we have a, another titan gauntlet zoom fang pauldron we have shield bash melee kills recharge shield throw that's actually pretty awesome okay we're gonna open this fifth engram here what do we have we have the sunshot also a weapon you can get from the campaign used it in the beta it was actually really nice to use and i do think i have an ornament for it so let's check out this how this looks okay that that looks interesting whoa okay real quick i'm gonna take off my exotic armor and also take off my exotic weapon now this shouldn't affect my rewards because how the game works now is it detects your highest power level like i believe it's from anything that's in your inventory so you don't have to always be wearing your highest stuff because i've heard a few theories about handing in exotics and it's pretty confusing to be honest it's if you have for example exotic legs wielded you have a higher chance of getting armor and the same goes with a weapon i mean i think they're called theories for a reason oh, well, i'm just going to try it because i don't think it should affect what my armor drops at and this next one should be 268 so i think this is going to be five higher what do we have dune marches okay i'm completely wrong <laughs> what is it 273 okay so i'm right there it's five higher so i've got my original stuff back on to put to my highest power level i'm pretty sure it's not making a difference either way four engrams to go what do we have next we have ah why do i have all these dune marches tyra you're really trying to get on my nerves today aren't you well it's working three engrams to go <laughs> why is that four legs i've got oh, i've got an achievement though guys it's all good 120 g collect 15 exotic weapons or armor look at all this armor i've received this engram opening so i've got two engrams left if it's going to be another leg armor piece i'm i, I don't know what to say 
Okay, we have a ward of call. We actually have a weapon, but <laughs> but I forgot to mention that I do actually already have the ward of coil. It's not ward if it's ward cliff coil. I mean, to be honest, I don't know why they switched the name. It was fine before. So already we're down to the final engram, and I think it's fair to say I'm unlucky. Why? Why do marches? I'm pretty sure I completely jinxed myself, so it's all my fault. Either way, guys, last engram. I I'm very sorry if this has been quite um anticlimactic to watch, but. We get a crest of our polybi, just to finish it off. How many armor pieces have we got this video? We have two, uh, four, seven. <laughs> seven! So seven armor pieces and a risk runner, sunshot, and a ward cliff coil. Which, by the way, this rocket launcher is weird to use. Sometimes it will miss completely point blank. Even if you're shooting a massive boss, you'll just miss, even if you're like two feet away from him. But when it does hit, it hits pretty hard. I've not used the Risk Runner or the Sunshot yet in the full game, so we're going to have to try those out. So like I said, we've got a lot of armor. I really would <laughs> prefer to not have so many Dune Marches, but I do believe Tara Khan hates me for glitching to the back of her little area. I think it was my fault from the second I wanted the Vigilance Wing from these engrams. But otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this, um, Pretty bad luck, exotic engram opening. I just want to make an exotic engram opening just to get it out of there, just to fill the slot up with 10. It looks awesome to see, but unfortunately our loot did not um, did not reflect that. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy the bad luck showcased in this video, then please do leave a like on the video. And if you're new around here, as always, please feel free to subscribe. Let me know what you guys have received from your exotic engrams. If there's any weapons that you've received that you really love, or even if you have the vigilance wing yourself. Anyway, it feels like it's gonna be a while until I get that. Very much hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.